150th University Boat Race, and Keith Wilson can do that in his old poetic kind of way. Cambridge. Oxford. Oscar Wilde. Samuel Pepys. Rupert Brooke. Tolkien. Lewis Carroll. Byron. Daffodils. Wordsworth. Isaac Newton. Darwin. Inspect the Morse. Shed loads of bikes and Radiohead. And it was, it was on this very, very spot that, uh, I can't remember now. Um, no, it's gone, it's gone. You couldn't knock us up a boat, could you? You see, I'm looking for a bit of insider information, so I've come to Oxford to find out who's going to win the boat race. Cambridge. Oxford! I have to go for Cambridge. Oxford will win, I should think. Cambridge, of course. That might make a nice little patch for the aft end. The butcher, the baker, the mover, the shaker, the crusty and dog on a string. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm built like a rower, aren't I? The scholar, the geezer, the dressed up to please her. The young mum's gonna go mad when she's a big hole in the back of her couch. <laughs> Wounded. The joker, the queen, and the king. Now, I would imagine Cambridge wouldn't go this. Well, I don't know why we, is it only imagine? Well, I'm the director of sport here, so I would have oh, thought Cambridge have to win right, the boat so race. Hi, I'm looking for a tip. Can you tell me who's going to win the boat race? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's going to be up. But matter of pride. Good morning about this. Yeah, Talk bro. about a bit of pride. A few fellas, loads of that going on. Putney oh. bitch! <laughs> Putney to Mutnick. Oh, you know everything about it, don't no, you? No, I don't. Come in number four. About four and something miles, I four think. Four and a quarter. Yes. You see, you've got, you've got a book in there, haven't you? Number four, you're feathering. <laughs> What's this feathering? I don't get the point of the question, frankly. OK. While daylight washes down on silver water, angular blades, classically symmetrical in composition, make their incisions in perfect phrase, each one choreographed with pathological enthusiasm. Steel nerves are exposed to the elements, all powerful and curiously affecting, tearing through the water's skin towards the glorious billowing wave of victory. There was a time when Liverpool would have won the boat race, 